guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov, I am the Photoshop artist and welcome to my studio. Today I will show to you how you can create a very beautiful sci-fi image in Adobe Dimension. And the best part, we will create our image from scratch in Adobe Dimension. Only one image uh, we will be using outside of uh, Adobe Dimension is uh, image for our background. So guys, let's start. I have opened Adobe Dimension and also I will switch right now from my starter assets um, library to my Creative Cloud library. And here I have um, a library where I have uh, done, uh, licensed and downloaded all images from Adobe Stock. Here I have a very nice image, just like that, and voila. It's very beautiful uh, sky, just like um, mystery uh, background. And now I will uh, adjust horizon line. Clicking on horizon line uh, icon will give me ability to change my horizon line, just like that. Maybe some somewhere here. Perfect. I love it. Now I will switch back to starter assets library, and here, guys, we have a lot of. Um, models we can work with. I will scroll down this library and here I have sphere. I will click on it just like that. So if I will switch to select and move tool, I will be able to move my sphere in the way I like it. So this is a problem. If I will move my uh, sphere down, I will kind of hide a uh, partial of my sphere. I will fix it. I will switch back to my horizon line and I will move horizon line down just like that and I'm happy right now. Maybe a little bit uh, lower, just like that. Now, I will switch back to select and move tool and I will bring my sphere up. Using select and scale tool, I will scale this sphere down, just like that. Perfect. Now, I will switch to another default model. If I will scroll this library down, I have this beautiful model. I will click on it just like that. Using select and move tool, I will bring it up front. And now I will switch to select and rotate tool. And I will rotate this model just like that. Maybe a little bit this way. Perfect. Switching to select and move tool will he, uh, help me to move my object to another position. So now I need to make uh, this uh, a very important but very simple decision where I want to uh, put this um, model because we are creating um, alien ship right now and basically we can create anything you will like. It's our imagination. So let's see. I will move this uh, uh, model a little bit in the middle just like that and from the first sign it everything looks good but we need to be sure so first of all i will click on a camera bookmarks and i will bookmark this view i will uh, rename it the view number one because i know it's front view just like that i will switch to um orbit tool and I will move my image. Guys, everything looks pretty much as I wanted. Just like this. I will rename this camera view to view number two, just like that. And now to switch between two views, if you have more views, you can switch between all of them. I will, if I would like to switch to my front view, view number one, I will click on one number and voila. Time to customize it. So how we can customize it? I will click on sphere um, model. I will switch to select and move tool just in case. And I will switch a library to materials. Guys, here we have a lot of default materials we can work with. They're simply amazing. I love them all. And by the way, if you would like to learn about how you can create 3D material for your uh, dimension um, workflow, just let me know. I believe I recorded it before and you can find it on my YouTube. But if you would like to um, 
to see something new and a new tutorial how you can create a material from scratch for your uh, dimension project just let me know in the comments below and i will record it for you so i have selected my sphere and in materials default um, library i will click on this brush uh, brushed um, material i like this material it's kind of will reflect uh everything and it's kind of mystery it's uh it's um silver it's more elegant as i wanted and if i want i can adjust my material so i will um change color definitely if i would like to change color i will click on color icon and i will change color to any color i like but i like this color i can um change a, a brushed intensity moving this slider maybe i will move it it's kind of more shiny and i like it uh brushed rotation we can change oh this is interesting i love this the most so guys i moved a brushed rotation slider slightly to the right and i change uh my material i love it a lot also you can change a roughness in a way you like if you will move your slider all the way to the right you will illuminate shiny effect if you will move your uh, roughness um, slider to the left you will bring more um, shiny uh, effect to your uh, material again everything is up to you it's your world it's your creation so I like it. If you will click on technical parameters and expand it, you have a lot of controls over your material. But I like this material as it is right now. And again, everything is up to you. Now I will be back to my scene um, panel and I will click on this another um, model. I can apply same. Uh, a material or i can switch to uh or i can apply another material let's switch to uh geometric material just like that and i love it let's try to change uh this material first of all i will change roughness maybe just like that i will not touch a metallic slider but in pattern selection i will change uh, rotation just like that i like it in i like it more um, if i will um specify invert pattern i will check it i will be able to adjust my pattern gap and bevel just like that and i like it guys but i don't like this color so what i will do it's super uh, simple let me i will click on color icon and i will switch to same silver color i will click on this um uh, sample color icon and i will point on my sphere material and voila now i can adjust it if i want just like this i will move a roughness slider slightly to the right to the left i'm sorry and i'm happy now i will be back to my um scene panel and i will click on environment here guys i would like to apply same color to my alien ship um as i have in my uh, background uh, image what i will do i will click on match image and here i will specify all options i i want to apply first of all i don't want to resize canvas so i will uncheck it and i want to create environment light yes please and i will click ok and now guys dimension will apply color to our alien uh, alien ship but as you can see it's not what i was looking for it's too dark no problem in environment light um, workspace i will increase intensity and i will ch change rotation of my light and still it's too dark to my taste so here guys we have sunlight options i will specify this option 
and in sunlight um, workspace I will increase intensity just like that I will increase high I will move my sunlight a little bit upper and I will change rotation just like that but guys I don't want to have a shadow so I will uncheck a ground plane just like this now guys um, I still have kind of a dark, darker uh, effect uh, than I wanted. Let's preview it. Oh, not too bad. Actually, I like it. That's why, that's why, guys, it's necessary periodically um, uh, expand uh, a quick preview window because now you can see how uh, uh, your uh, project will be uh, after you will finish your uh, rendering so I like it I like it maybe a little bit more uh, details just I'm trying to move a uh, high of uh, sunlight and maybe I will change uh, rotation because guys if you will look at our um, background image we have sun comes out uh, or light comes out from top left corner so I will move my light to same position just like that yes and a little bit high just like that let's preview and now I'm happy so guys as usual after we finished every, with everything and we will say yes yeah, this is what I wanted I'm happy and by the way guys one more uh, thing if you don't like to apply your um, uh, light from based on your background image you can apply default or default light simply switch to light a library and here we have a lot of lights uh, default lights we can apply to our project example if I will click on uh, this studio work key we have this a uh, light definitely we can modify it we can change rotation and actually like it more look at this uh, if I would like to apply sunlight, I can apply sunlight. I can bring down intensity of sunlight. Also, I will change uh, high and rotation just like that. Let's preview. Look at this. I like it more. So, guys you have many many different ways to apply a light to your image you can apply light um, to your um, project based on your background image or you can um, use default uh, light um, default dimension light everything is up to you and again after you finished with everything and you will say i'm happy um, this is what i wanted uh, you can share your project with your client if you will click on share 3d scenes or you can render it and you can um i have recorded tutorials about this if but again if you would like to see something specific about this topic just let me know and i will record another tutorial for you so guys this is what i wanted to share with you today if you have any questions just ask i will be more than happy to answer to any of your questions uh, super appreciated of all your support. Thank you guys and I will see you later. Bye.